Hey what's going on, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be doing something slightly different than usual. Uh, today I'm going to be painting something with watercolor. Um, I've been kind of obsessed lately with Japanese style tattooing and woodblock printing. And so earlier I drew this Japanese style koi fish. And today I'm going to be drawing a new one, only this time I'm drawing it into my watercolor pad and then I'll be uh, coloring it in. Now, I've never painted anything on this channel before, which is kind of weird because I do paint a lot in my free time. I, I paint with oil paints and acrylics and I do a lot actually. Um, if you want to see some of my paintings, I do post some on my Instagram. Not all of them by far, I have done so many, they're all collecting dust on my closet, so <laughs> yeah. But right now I'm starting out by sketching out the basic proportions of the fish. Um, I'm using some reference and I'm just sketching in the basic big shapes and then adding details to the to the head of the fish. And um, yeah, then I'm going to be drawing in the water around it. And I'm also going to add some flowers this time. I love koi fish. I love the way they, they look. I, I, I think their colors are awesome. And I can see why people are paying so much money for these things. Um, and I've never realized how big they are. I recently saw one in a hotel in Germany. And they had like a little pond and uh, some fish swimming around in there. And some really big koi fish. I never realized how big they are. They're so big in real life and just very impressive, very beautiful animals. So cool, I would love to have some koi fish myself swimming around somewhere in my in my house, but yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I've been looking into this whole um, Japanese style woodblock printing. It's so interesting, there's like a whole, um, a whole community for it on YouTube and online. It's really impressive actually what they're doing. It's such a cool process. They're drawing everything out and then they're like um, uh, using the, some sharp tools to to carve away the wood and um, so they're only left with the outlines and then for each color for each color that's going to be on the print they have like a different wood block hence wood block printing and they just put the color on there and then the paper and it's like a step-by-step -step process it's so cool I, and of course also japanese style tattooing I, I really love that just looks so cool with the colors and the different characters and I find it weirdly difficult to um, to draw in that style um, I'm more of a you know I like all of these organic shapes and I love to sketch all of these um, you know um, organic flows you know in, in animals and I like to sketch trees and everything and so it's always been really really hard for me to get like a like a comic book style or like a more of an abstract style that's never been my piece of cake and so this Japanese style, it is highly, highly stylized. Um, this highly stylized um, things are really difficult for me. Um, I don't know what it is. Maybe I just find it's very hard to let go of these, um, you know, uh, exact shapes and, and forms and uh, shading and everything. And when I'm done using the micron pens, I will be erasing all the graphite lines, all the pencil lines.
and I'll have a quick sushi break and then I'll start using the watercolor and um, I'll start coloring in the water. I will go over the areas I'm going to color in many times with many passes, uh, many different um, shades of color. Uh, I'll try to do some blending and um, yeah, after I've colored everything in, that's going to um, be actually I think the most part of the video from here on. Um, I'll be going back in with a um, with a watercolor pen and do some more blending and after that finally I will use my really really um, thick li thickly lined <laughs> um, uh, ink pen and uh, do all of the outlines again and all the important uh, dark spots. And you'll notice that the watercolor will take some uh, some of the strength out of the lines, out of the micron lines. And the micron are actually the only um, pens that I have that are uh, water resistant. And so I I use them, uh, and it washes kind of it kind of washes the ink out a little bit. It's not that well in resistant in resistance, but it doesn't you know it doesn't uh, get runny or anything and. And yeah, so that's why I'm using them. And the last step will be to um, redo all of the outlines, all of the really black dark spots. And so that's going to look really good. But for now, I'm I'm using the watercolor, using some darker tones here and there, and slowly building up layers and and doing some color transitions. Good and now now I'll be using said um, aqua pen I think it's called. Um, it's a water-based pen and with that I will do some blending. I will reactivate some of the pigments in the water, especially and on on the fish. The pen with the gray shade, so I can do some shading on the white spots, especially on the scales and on the fins of the fish. And um, then I'll use it for uh, blending, you know, blending together the colors in the water a little bit more. And yeah, when that's done, I will start doing the outlines.
So yeah, we're coming closer to the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching if you made it that far. Um, consider giving me the thumbs up on this video or subscribe to my channel. It really helps and I'm really, really happy when I get a new subscriber. It helps immensely. I'm coming close to 500 subscribers, which is awesome. Thank you all so much for your comments and for liking and, and everything. It's really awesome. Thank you so much for watching and I hope I'll see you around on the channel. Thank you. Bye.